Hi guys, April is here. It's actually April 2nd right now and to just start off the monthly haul, I had four things come in today. Like I just got back from work and all of these were in my mailbox. Ugh, I have not had this much happy mail all at once like ever. So I'm going to start with this right here. So um, a few, like I think last week or the week before, I f uh, finally uploaded a video where I basically was testing out some um, glossy sticker paper. And I had several of you tell me in the comments some other places that they would like me to try some uh, sticker paper from. So I requested this sample from Sheets Label. Um, so let me pull this out to remember what I got. Uh, there's like some weird smudge on this that I'm unhappy about because it means I might not be able to use one of these sheets. Um, okay, so, okay, that's a little bit of a bummer. That's a lot of bit of a bummer. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, I'm unhappy that there's like a slit in the back. I thought I'd specifically requested some without slits. Um, but instead of giving me three of each, which is what I requested, they gave me one of each. So I have white gloss, inkjet gloss, and premium uncoated, which just kind of feels like a matte, and I don't think I requested this. Um, I might do a video trying these out, but like without several of these, it's a little hard to judge. And then with this one, there's just so many slits in the back. And also like having the sticker on it, like, I don't know if I can say it. Anyway, this is from Sheets Labels and that came in. I might contact them to see if I can get like a different kind of um, um, sample. So next I have stickers from a new shop to me. It's called, let me make sure I get this right. Okay, she put her name on here not the uh, name of the shop, but I remember where I found this shop. Um, she actually purchased stickers from my shop. Um, I am always into trying out new sticker shops, and like while I mostly find them on like YouTube or Instagram, one of the big ways that I find new sticker shops, which is hilarious to me, is um, if you uh, purchase from my shop the like characters that are cutting and printing stickers I assume you like I have your own and I always check out your profile to see if you're an Etsy shop and this order came in uh, an order from her came in a few days ago and um or oh god I can't even remember so an order from her came in and I saw that she ordered um uh the cutting stickers and all of that so I decided to try out her shop uh, she was actually having her opening weekend sale. So first of all, this is one of the things that was like a freebie for the opening weekend sale. It's like a, one of those adhesive pockets, right? I don't know how these work. I'm, um, oh, okay, so there's like a pocket here. Oh, that's cute. But it's an adhesive pocket. She said she wanted to include that as a freebie for the first whatever orders. So then we have a thank you for your order, and it's got some samplers. The um, shop is called Tribe of Love Sticker Co. Um, this, I got it on this map paper. I think it might be the only option. This is a freebie of uh, these little TNs. I'm almost positive this is a freebie. I think it was anybody, who, like the first certain amount of orders during her uh, like opening um Sale. So those are the two freebies I got, or three freebies, I guess. And here are the sticker sheets I got. Um, so the first one I got was this map and this compass. I don't plan on going camping anytime soon, but I'm pretty good at getting lost all on my own in the city. This is like a sampler of camping stuff. I just thought it was really, really cute, um, and you never know. I got these like pack lunch stickers. I'm trying to do a better job of like meal prepping. And while I don't have meal prep stickers at all, I thought these pack lunch stickers would be cute to remind myself to pack my lunch. I have trash stickers if I want to take out the trash. And I thought these laundry stickers were really, really cute. So that is my first order from Tribe of Love Sticker Co. You should go check her out. Okay, so now I have two pieces of Happy Mail from Scribble Prince Co. Um, one of them is my mystery kit for the month, and one of them is just an order I have been waiting for. So I'm going to do my mystery kit last, but this is the kit I have been waiting for. I can't even remember what I got at this point. Okay, so first of all, we have... Oh, I remember what I got. It's the Saving Lives. So here in this little pouch thing, we have the journaling card. Isn't that real pretty? Um... We have the sampler. Look how cute that is. 
oh I'm off frame so look how cute that is um I love the planning one we have this this was for the pe people who were in the first 200 orders it's actually crazy to me that I was in one of the first 200 orders because I think I ordered late and then if you didn't know um she's having these like P not, not PR samplers but these samplers that you can get if you put in the I guess they are PR samplers if you put in certain coupon codes this one is for Kirsten who um works there the other one is for Jessica J Crew plans so I decided to start out with Kirsten's because I liked hers a lot um and then the next time I'll do it make an order I will use uh Jessica J Crew and I'll probably just go back and forth collecting these so those are all the freebies these are the glitter headers for the kit that I got so let me open that up this is a uh, Grey's Anatomy themed kit called Saving Lives. Um, in her like um, video about this, she said she'd never even seen um, uh, Grey's Anatomy before, which like dr like is crazy to me because she did such a good job with this. Um, I am like several seasons behind on Grey's, so whenever I like the show finally ends, if it ever does, or like this season ends, I can like do a binge watch. So let me show you the kit. Uh, we have the sampler here, which is insane to me how big this sampler is. It always gets me. So the front page here, we have our deco, which is really cute. And then we have the three boxes that say Grey Season Finale, Grey Season Premiere, and Binge Watch Grey's. Our large icon, some girls. I like that she did, like, medical ones. So we have, like, a nurse, a doctor, and, like, a sick one. The flight tracker, happy mail, new releases, canceled, rescheduled, and nope stickers. Then I love like the splatters of glitter in the background. We've got the weekly ombres, the weekend banner with glitter, um, flags, appointment labels, our strip checklist, our three, two three heart checklist, and our small icons. Then we have habit trackers, bill dues, large and skinny appointment labels, solid quarter boxes, solid half boxes, and the patterned half boxes. We have our patterned washi and headers, our little things, solid washi and the fancy labels. Here are the weekly ombres. This was the reason that I had to get this as a full kit because the Seattle, Seattle skyline is in like the background of this and it's so gorgeous. And here we have the full boxes. So um, here is like the note that Meredith and Derek like wrote to each other. Um, we've got like, like a, I guess this is the ER. Um, I honestly don't like the, like the Meredith it does not look like Meredith to me so if I were to use this kit I probably wouldn't use this box and then I love the quote it's a beautiful day to save lives luckily uh, the kit comes with an extra uh, full box that says Seattle Grace Hospital so I'll use that I'm not usually a huge fan of this like split bottom washi but I think it works here and then you got the date covers and then again the glitter headers that I got with the kit all apart so I'm excited for this. I have no idea when I'll use this. I gotta stop ordering kits that have no plans because I'm running out of room to store them. But so that's the Saving Lives kit with the glitter headers, the journaling card, and the three freebies I got with this order. This is so cute. I love the little K on here. Oh, so cute. So let me show you the other Scribble Prints Co. kit. So this is the mystery kit. Uh, this would be the April mystery, yeah, because it shipped April 1st, um, but this will not go up this video until May, so, like, everyone will have seen it, um, so I'm not too worried. Before I open it, like, show it to you, I have not peeked, not just at this, I have not watched the new release, or, like, the release video of it, uh, just because April 1st landed on a Sunday this year, which means that I had plenty of time to, like, wait for this to arrive before it came to the shop, just in case I needed, uh, two of these. So first of all, we get the um, sticky notes that come with the kit. I love her sticky notes that don't have any like lists or anything on the side. So big fan of this. Is this holding it the right way? Okay. So this is the April Mystery Kit. Um, I'm not sure what the theme is. I feel like it's something that I should know. Like it's like something in the community I should know, but I'm not getting that vibe. Let me know what I'm missing. Although I'll probably watch the release video right after this so let's grab so this is a vinyl die cut that's a camera that says SPC there's a little bit of like a line here that's not pretty but other than that it's fine back here we have a journaling card that says I'm where I'm meant to be I feel like that's a quote I should know we have glitter headers and then yeah it's just the kit so 
let's get into the April Mystery Kit. I love these colors. These scream like Easter to me. So we have, oh, there's another freebie. So we have uh, this, uh, the regular freebie here. Then we have these glitter nail polish freebies, liking it. So here's the front page. I feel like this is from a movie that I just haven't seen. It's got to be. So we've got the deco here. I love that glitter. The full, I always feel like I have the kits in all the wrong order. We've got the ombre checklists. This is definitely from a movie. Is this from Tangled? Anyway, it's gorgeous. I kind of want to use it for like April. I mean, it is an April mystery. I'm not going to go like page by page like I did the other one just because I wanted to show you that one. Ooh, I love that like really super fine glitter. And that weekend banner. Oh, and the bottom washi is so cute. Okay, this is a really cute kit. I can't watch, wait to go like watch the like new release video so I can figure out what the theme of this kit is. But I think this is actually one of the more happy I've been with a mystery kit in a while. Just because like even with me not understanding what this kit is because I'm out of the loop on something or another, I still enjoy it. Um... So anyway, those are all the kits that I have here to show you. Nice start to this. So I've got my April Mystery from Scribble Prince Co. I've got my Saving Lives kit, again, from Scribble Prince Co. My stickers from Tribe of Five Sticker Co. And then the samples that I got from um, SheetLabels.com. So I just have two quick things to show you in this haul. Uh, the first is some printables that I uh, just printed. This is from a Etsy shop called Paper and Gumption. I just found um, this shop through like the Etsy sh searches and I was looking, sorry, I was looking for a notes kit for my planner. I haven't been uh, doing notes kits in my planner. Like January I tried one and I never filled it out. Um, but I was looking for somewhere to like help keep track of things for my Etsy shop. I do have this traveler's notebook from Target that um, I use like the calendar section of it. This is like a month I haven't put anything in, but I use the, let's go to a blank one way back, to do stuff in. Like I like put all kinds of stuff in here, especially uh, for planning things out in advance. And then um, I do use like a lot of just like jotting down things. Um, and I, and then I have this second insert in here that's just blank pages. I won't show you it because it's very personal, but it's like my brain dump, my planning, like um, certain like things. But it just didn't wasn't satisfying a lot of what I needed. Um, so I decided to try out a notes kit for this month. It's already the third of the month, so it's not going to be perfect. But um, I decided to try it out. So when you buy her notes kits, I think they're like three dollars. Uh, for the printables, you get several files. You can just uh, get the files that are, um, you know, PDFs. Uh, but I got, or I, I also, um, but they also come with uh, silhouette cut files, which I appreciate since I have my own cutting machine. So I got those, printed it, cut them. The cut lines are great. They were positioned really well. With printables, I always get scared because they don't uh, have like some kind of offset around them. But these were great. And then she has four different styles that come in every, like with the nose kits. But I decided to print all of them just to see which one I like. Um, and then if I really like this, this is something that I could see myself um, doing in the future. And also her notes kits match up my um, April monthly, so that worked out great. The second thing I have to show you guys is not from Once More With Love or Scribble Prince Co. technically. I bought this off of an Instagram uh, D-Stash um, account. I don't remember who it was. I'll try to see if I can find it and link it down below. But this is a kit from Scribble Prince Co., a while ago that I kept meaning to pick up and never did. So first of all, she sent it with this um, Once More With Love cardstock um, backing thing. I'm assuming just so this doesn't bend, so I appreciate that and I always love getting more of these. So this is a, um, so this kit was, first of all, a very old Scribble Prince Co. kit, but it's the um, Kirsten who works at Scribble Prince Co. but is also very popular on YouTube and I love her. Um, she's just one of my, I mean like I don't love her, I love her channel. She's one of my favorite uh, planner girls. She's the one who really got me into Scribble Prince Co. Kids if I'm being honest. Um, but she uh, had this made for her wedding or it's like a her wedding one. I don't exactly remember. 
but this is the old version of it. I can't remember. This was the original version. They revamped this, um, uh, I think, this last year, and I meant to pick it up, but I didn't. So let me show you the kit. We first have the exclusive kit freebie. Very, very cute. Um, this has changed so much since then. From what I remember from Scribble Prince Co. in the past, if you picked up her kit as a pre-sale, it came with glitter headers, but I can't be 100% sure. So, um... I'm going to go through this kit page by page. Normally I wouldn't do that once I'd already shown a kit from a shop just because I don't want to bore you with like all like the specifics over again. But since this is such a different layout, I'm just, this is such an old layout. Um, if anybody out there has the newer formatted version of this kit, I will buy it off of you. So the front page we have to do to clean, some huge deco, the weekend banner, checklists, flags, teardrops, and a extra full box that says I'll be here forever and you'll be my always. I'm so glad she changed the way she does her layouts because this just looks messy to me. Like I get fitting a lot of stuff on there but it just looks messy. So then we have two weekly ombres, our uh, date covers that I'm not a huge fan of. Not at all. Uh, Bill Dews, which I've always loved her Bill Dews. More teardrops where I feel like I used to see teardrops everywhere and now I don't see them anywhere. So this is kind of like a throwback for me. Um, we've got flags and icons. We've got our small appointment labels, habit trackers, large appointment labels. I forgot she used to do square boxes. Man, um, then our half boxes. Uh, headers and little things. This is back when we, none of us did like color blocking and uh, we had just headers of one color. This is really a throwback for me guys. Um, I mean glitter headers really brought color blocking into the mix. We have our ombre weeklies. Here are the full boxes. They're very simple. Um, honestly, if I don't know if I would have bought this kit if it wasn't for like the the connotations and like the the fact that it is her wedding kit but I really think I could use this for a very pretty um rewind plan with me and like a, my personal planner and then we have the washi page oh my god this kit is so old <gasps> this washi is on matte paper <gasps> when scribble prince co first switched to glossy paper only she only ha she had her washi in matte so that like I mean even her mats awesome it's been a while but like man <gasps> this is such an old kit if you're like an OG planner girl out there, you'll know what I mean when it's, um, I like to date things by, uh, like when the, like the kind of stickers they are or something, but I, I used to always, um, indicate like, you know, um, an, an old kit by, uh, from Scribble Prince Co. as back when they had the washi on matte paper. So anyway, here is that, and hopefully you will have already seen a video go live with me using this notes uh, kit in my planner. If not, that means I ripped up all the stickers in defeat, because I'm about to film a short plan with me using these. So for this part of the haul, I have a ton of stuff to show you guys from three different shops and then from a buy sell trade. But first I will say I do have an order missing. Um, the shop shipped it on time, it was delivered, um, in a good amount of time and on the day I received it I opened it up I was really excited about it and I set it down and I didn't put it where I normally do so like I can like film the haul later and I just straight up lost it um, which sucks because I have really good plans for that kit but I live in a small apartment and I will eventually find it um, that means nothing to you guys except for me just to tell you how sad I am and I will probably still link that shop below so anyway I'm gonna start with the stuff that I got from uh, buy sell trade group so my favorite buy sell trade group is on Facebook and it's called planner marketplace I really like it because there's just a ton of people in it and they're all selling a variety of stuff so I saw these peach palm clips for sale and they were for a very reasonable price I always miss uh, peach palms releases and I just um, I don't know why I always miss them like it's not like I try and I like don't get what I want I like straight up like sleep through them or forget or whatever so if anybody knows of a peach palm release coming up tag me on it I will stick it in my planner so anyway the person who I bought it from um, also included this in the um, in the order I'm pretty sure this is just like backing to make sure the palms didn't get messed up but I think it's really cute it's a dashboard I don't think I have a planner that fits this dashboard but I really really like the um, sticky notes especially these two here that are event and appointments and these I think are meant to be like tabs that you can stick out which I've never seen before so I'm excited about that so um, I was really after 
these two palms or clips and it came with this one and I didn't realize how tiny peach palm clips actually were I don't know why but I expected them to be like twice as big as this so I don't know how to show you a comparison I mean this is a normal pen size and they're just teeny tiny maybe these are like specifically teeny tiny anyway so this is like a mint one um it's a little dirty but um it's not like it's just like fuzzes on it um and these are on like like the gold paper clips just feel like thin normal paper clips so i've heard these things that last a while so we'll see um this one is so weird so like this one is a felt ball obviously and very soft and this one is like hard all around so i feel like she got a felt ball and then like dipped it in something to make it all glittery but anyway it feels pretty sturdy and then this one is not something i would normally get and i don't know what i will do with it's just so i don't want to say it, it's a little gaudy it's not my style but we'll see i might just uh put it in my giveaway pile and somebody will get a peach palm clip so anyway those are what i picked up on the planner marketplace facebook group highly highly recommend you'll probably see me there so next order i have is from the gp sticker studio i saw um andrea from scribble prints co talk about this shop and i've been following her for a while and i decided to just go ahead and order one of her mystery kits because i like the sneaks she was doing um she is international for me i don't remember where and i don't like buying international very often because you usually don't get tracked shipping um but i decided to give it a shot I think the designs are gorgeous. I'm pretty sure she draws this all herself. The sticker paper, I'll show you, it's really unique. But I don't like the layout of her kits. So this is her March mystery kit. So first of all, you have, I'm going to say everything wrong about this, but this is a freebie. It is on um, vinyl paper. So I got the stickers on glossy. I don't know how I feel about her glossy, but, um, oh, in case you're wondering, she uses Rojo Pacific large format printing materials. But this is her vinyl um, mat, I'm assuming. Um, I like that the vinyl, like the stickers themselves are very thin, but it has that like vinyl -y scent that I hate. But this is a cute freebie. I can't remember if this kit is still in the correct order, but this page has checklist, quarter boxes, habit trackers, build due, three dot checklist, a weekly tracker two flags um asterisks and hearts hello weekend icons like functional things flags headers one set of glitter headers and appointment labels we have our full checklist which this looks marbly and if you guys know me i do not like marble i am apparently sitting in my own boat in the planner world but i do not like marble so here are the full boxes um all of the sneak peeks she was doing screamed that this would be a kit that had like a lot of animal stuff i don't know maybe i read it wrong which is why i initially got this i think this would be a cute like mini kit uh to use in the fall i think she's from australia and right now in australia it is fall so this makes a lot of sense but for me this is one that i can't use for a while then we have little things that seem to be like done in a weird way like I don't know what how to describe it so like the tv shows and i don't know and then we've got the headers uh half boxes and quarter boxes i appreciate that they are squared off for if i use them for rewind kits um the bottom washi which these are two separate pieces of washi which i appreciate and then the pattern washi uh we've got two weeks worth of date covers which is really nice because i means if i were to use this i didn't have to use those and then these date squares and then the deco, which is really big, but this cat and this dog are what I saw her, like, sneak, which is the reason I got her kit. And then the last page has glitter headers, marble headers, and this double box that's, like, open down the middle. Not a big fan of, like, that. But, so, when I say her sticker paper is unique, check this out. What? It's clear. It's, like, they're still backing there, but it's clear. It's just so cool. What? I don't know what it is about that that just is like is so cool to me so that is from the GP sticker studio um again I'm not a huge fan of her like there's just very it's just a lot of little things about the kit you know you're used to one style of kit and when somebody the shop is like unique it sometimes you, you either get it or it just throws you off and in this case it throws me off um, but I'm glad I tried it because uh, at least I know what her paper is like and if I decide I want something else from her shop because it's a lot of unique stuff, 
I'll know if I want it. So the next order I have is from Wonton in a Million. This is actually my very, very first order from Wonton in a Million. I have followed her for a while on social media. And um, I made this order. I wanted to show you the envelope because how cute is that? Um, I made this order finally because of my brother. So my brother recently got engaged um, over Christmas break. Oh, goodness. There's so much stuff in here. Um, and you'll, I'll show, talk about the stickers later, but all of these stickers were just perfect for what I needed. So first of all, I'm pretty sure this is only if this is your first order from the shop. You get this, um, meet the steam team. First she gives you her social media and on the back she talks about what, about wonton in a million. Um, but in the inside, she explains all of the different things. So she explains what shrimp dumplings are, pork dumplings, all the different dumplings. And there's prices. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, this is kind of like a menu. I don't know. This is so cute. I am keeping this. Um, this also is a good way to, like, for people who, because, I mean, like, I know what a dumpling is. And I thought I knew what things were. But, like, this is very helpful. Next, it came with this card. Um, she is having a, um, yeah, she's turning three years old and is having a party in New York City. I cannot make it, um, and I'm not that huge of a, like, wanton in a million fangirl because I'm new to this, but it's really cute. It's called The Greatest Cho Chow on Earth. This is really cute, and she's including these in orders. So, um, so I got a lot of stuff. So, first of all, I got two cards. So... My um, brother, again, just got engaged, and I'm going to tell you a story. So him and this girl, they met in college at, like, an after-school activity, and, um, and, um, and what he would do is after, like, they had practice, he would invite her out to a, like, it was a, just a, basically a terrible Chinese restaurant on a college campus, and um, they bonded over that. He actually asked her out by, he printed on a piece of paper, um, like the size of a fortune cookie, will you go out with me? And I helped him, like, microwave a fortune cookie to soften it. And then he stuck that, like, took out the old fortune cookie, put that one in, so when she opened up her fortune cookie, it said, will you go out with me? Very cheesy and elaborate, but she said yes, and uh, this past December, he proposed, she said yes. Um, she actually asked me to be a bridesmaid, which is so exciting, but I, um, I thought this was perfect, so they, you know, bonded over... Uh, Chinese food Ugh. and then this have a wonderful birthday I think um, I was gonna use it for her birthday but I just realized like as this came in the mail that her birthday was in March and I already got her a present but my brother's birthday is in July and I think he's going to love this so I'm excited about these um, like yeah um, she also included it so I told her in the comments like how perfect these stickers were for um, for all of this so you'll see you know not only did they like bond over Chinese food and like there's bridesmaid stickers but I also got some San Francisco stickers because uh, my brother and her want to move out and live in San Francisco Ugh. so first of all she put on this amazing sticky note that I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and buy oh congrats to your brother and his fiance Abby that's me that is so cute I, like I like including notes for shop owners cuz I like telling stories and then here are the stickers I got. I didn't get a lot. Her shipping is really cheap. And for some reason I thought it was going to be super expensive. So I didn't order a ton. But I think next time I'm just going to splurge. So. Okay, what else did I get? What's back here? Oh my god, that's so cute. Uh, she wrote, these bridesmaid stickers were left over from a custom order I did. Maybe you can use them. Oh, that's so cute. They just say bridesmaid. Oh my god! These are so cute! What am I gonna use these for? Oh my god, thank you so much! Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna set those aside. I'm gonna also keep these sticky notes and the notes forever because they're so cute. So, first of all, it comes in this little packaging um, and this is like the back of it. And it's, um, oh, the steam team! This is so cute! Everything she does is adorable. So, her freebies, what I really like about them, and it's not something that I would ever be able to do with my shop because I don't plan this far ahead, but it's a sneak peek of what's coming up. 
Hago Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. She has the best puns. Um, so it's like a Harry Potter theme, and she says it's coming late April 2018. And I like that these are um, cut out, so like you can mark them, use them to mark in your planner. Wonton's third birthday box, besties themed. Plushies are coming out, and new stamps. Um, I think I would be interested in the birthday box, although, and I know this is like nobody should care but because I haven't been a fan for that long if they're really limited stock I would feel guilty getting a box from like versus somebody who's like been a fan for a while so stickers I got so first one is a bride tribe sticker set um yes she's asked me to be her bridesmaid I have gladly accepted she's also asked my little sister um it was very expected when her older brother got married she was a little insulted that her new sister-in-law didn't ask her to be a bridesmaid because she thought it was custom for uh like siblings of whatever to be asked she said it wasn't a huge deal and I always told her she never had to ask me but she did um so I knew it was coming um so I actually no I ordered this after that but uh, they haven't set a date for their wedding, they think sometime in 2019, but she still has to graduate college, and they're in no rush. But these are exciting. So first we have, like, giving presents, and then all these scripts that say bridal shower, dress shopping, don't forget a gift, bachelorette party, bride tribe, bridal shower, bachelorette party, girls brunch, and bridal party. And then, like, all of these, like, fun stickers. So cute. Adorable. Um, bun year older. <laughs> Uh, like one year older these are birthday stickers just because I always need more birthday stickers wow this is a big sticker um I always need more birthday stickers and these are cute and then lastly a San Francisco sheet again I want to visit my brother and her once they uh, move out there and this is just so freaking cute anyway I did not get a ton of stickers I regret that now um, but again so I got the stickers these freebie stickers that say bridesmaid I don't know what to do with these so actually I have an idea so since there's two of them she asked me to be her bridesmaid by giving me this like beautiful like shoebox style thing with a lot of things in it and a car and I really wanted to keep the shoebox and put in like pictures and memories from like you know her because I, I like to keep things like organized so like I'd love to have pictures of it and like you know things anyway I think I'm gonna use this to cover one of those and I'm not sure what I'll use for the other one but these are cute um and then the two cards that I got um so this one I'm definitely saving for my brother's birthday but with this one I, I'd love to know you guys a thought so first of all this is a really great material I was expecting like normal cards you get at like Hallmark but this is much like better quality paper but uh I was thinking of just sending this to her now as like a thank you and I'm so excited um but I feel like I have to get her a present with it so let me know what you guys think actually by the time this video goes live I'll probably have already remembered what to do but I'm gonna call my little sister um and see if she wants to like go in together on something I mean she's still in high school she's what 11th grade she's no she's not a senior yet so like she doesn't have a lot of money but I would love to put her name on something too because she's our future sister-in-law anyway tons of stuff from wonton in a million it's a really cute shop like just super unique stuff since she draws all of her own stuff but it's also really punny so the last order I have um in this part of this is from sticky essentials um I ordered this forever ago so I actually kind of forgot about it um, she was well within her processing times. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I got six things, and I'm not sure why. I usually don't go this ham. So, okay, I see what I did. Okay, so we are going to start with these. So um, I'm going to open these up. So I got three of these. These are um, monthly kits for so much crafting inserts. So I have a rewind planner. Um, oh, these are cute. First of all, this is a like premium matte, or is this vinyl? This is a very nice quality, but these are uh, made for so much crafting inserts, monthly inserts, and I have two sets of them. One I use as uh, for my work planner, 
and one of them for my rewind planner. These are intended for my rewind planner just because my work planner doesn't include this much fun stuff. Um, just because I try to keep it fresh and all. So here we have two bits of side washi. This is another thing of washi I think is meant to cover up like the top bar. We've got strips to mark out time. All of these full boxes. These mini appointment labels. The only thing about them is... Oh no, no. I thought they had just a lot of border and it's they don't. So you have like four pattern and four glitter. And then we have icons, date dots, which I really think are unnecessary. I really, really like these boxes here. And then like they'll do appointment, payday. These are cute. So honestly, I wish it had like more boxes and stuff. So I might have to like make some of my own and supplement to supplement that. But all in all, I really needed something that would give like a cohesive vibe to the um, whatever like spread I do. Like the rest of it, you know, honestly, I can just write it in and use a tiny little sticker. Um, and then uh, this is the co Caffeine Queen Coffee. Um, this is, I don't, I don't remember what the names of these and it doesn't say on these, but I used this, um, same clip art, but she did it in a very different way and I liked it. She like muted the colors a lot, but here is this one. And then lastly, um, I wasn't sure how I felt about this one, but the colors really spoke to me. So I decided to go for it and probably just, uh, ditch some of the full boxes. Like I love sake ones, don't get me wrong, but oh god this is so pretty the color is just giving me love life so those are the three monthly personal kits that i got and i'm so excited to finally have something to sit down and do some rewind monthly planning oh never mind i have one more so it turns out i got four of them so this one is like a spring easter one okay i think i remember so this one was going to be for april this one was going to be for march and then I was trying to decide what to do between these two because, um, honestly, I should have probably gotten... Oh, she didn't have, like, a February-themed one, so I'll probably choose one of these for January. Uh, probably this one just because it gives, like, much more cozy vibes. This one just kind of feels more chic. And I will figure out something for February. So, again, there's that. And I'll definitely have to pull in a lot to make a full monthly spread. Okay, so next I got two kits. So the first one, it matches one of the monthlies I got. That was not intended for that. So um, I had been playing around with this art for several weeks, uh, but I could not come up with something that I felt was unique enough to release as a kit. And if you're ever wondering why it takes me forever to make kits, it's because like if I release four kits, that means I designed like 10 of them and just ditched most of them. Because, you know, like... It's not like I'm uh, drawing my own kits, which I would love to get to that point. So if I'm going to put out a kit with um, like very popular art, I need that kit to be very unique. Anywho, so this is the Caffeine Queen, I believe it's what it's called. I really love this art. It's from a shop called, I hope it's Coco's Art House and Pope I'm right. If not, I will correct myself somewhere. But um, I'm pretty sure that it comes with these or I've added them, put them as an add-on. Honestly can't remember, it's been a while, but you got four girls that say Caffeine Queen, But First Coffee, and Espresso Yourself. I really like that one. Again, this is all in that, like, vinyl -y matte. Um, I suck at using vinyl matte stickers or vinyl stickers at all. I just am not good at them, so. This is my, okay, so this is my second order from Sticky Essentials. My very first one I messed up and I got, like, oops stickers and I didn't realize it um so I got really frustrated with them but I'm excited to try it out so I don't like marble but I do like this like brick background with a little bit of marble countertops that it ha feel to it that is a style I'm okay with and I do like marble that has like um like granite splatters in it so you know you've got your quote box with that I love this font um like the it's just really cute you guys have been staring at this your functional page has your checklist, two ombre weeklies, two three heart checklist, two bill dues, and I like her bill dues. We've got at least smaller large icons. They are some sort of icon and a weekend banner. Then we have half boxes, quarter boxes, appointment labels, and flags. Our little things and headers. Ooh, glitter checklist. I like that. Okay, I'm into this. Um, I, and if your kit comes with a full set of glitter headers, 
you got me. I love ya. Uh, so we got flags, um, quarter boxes, glitter headers. Love it. Appointment labels. Then we've got date covers. If I am using this, I'm not going to use these date covers because I like this marble more than normal marble, but still not enough to use it. Our deco that feels a little big. Um, and then date dots. Dots, yes. And then our bottom washi, pattern washi, and two habit trackers. So that is the first full kit I got from Sticky Essentials. And then the second one, um, I completely forgot I got this one, but I think I'm going to use it for the week of Cinco de Mayo, which is coming up. Ooh, shoot. The week of Cinco de Mayo is, hold on. Okay. Okay, I might be able to get away with using this for the week of Cinco de Mayo. May 8th, there are primary elections here, and I want to use, like, a, um some kind of like elections themed kit I'm not sure what yet but anyway this is again this was very popular art that I could just I just couldn't come up with something amazing I thought I was just gonna just take whatever a uh, buy whatever Scribble Prince Co put out but I did not love the kit that Scribble Prince Co put out and I did love this one so first of all the um quote box says Mas Tacos and Tequila which I believe means more tacos and tequila I took French in high school because I'm an idiot this double box scene that I love. I look like neither of these girls, but I will be using both of them. Hot sauce and tacos. Just all of this. This is so cute. I love the... Ugh, so cute. Um, I'm going to go through this quickly, but look at that weekend banner. It's so good. And these colors are so vibrant. Um, these boxes. Miss Glitter. I'm so excited I found another shop that has uh, glitter headers in their kits because that is something I love. Okay, this this is a lot of deco. Love it. And then the bottom washi. This is going to be a very fun week whenever we, I do this. So, again, from... Oh, it says on here. This is a full kit. Uh, so, again, from Sticky Essentials, I got two full kits and a ton of personal monthly kits. Hi, guys. I never filmed an outro for this video because I expected more things to come in the mail, but I stuck to my no spend and nothing more came. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to link all the shops down below, and I would just love some suggestions from you for new shops to check out. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.